Have you ever wondered about the places in the world where you're just not welcome? It's a bit like how some countries have a tough time with Muslims, facing prejudice and restrictions. But today, we're flipping the script and talking about the top 20 countries where Americans aren't exactly rolling out the red carpet in 2024. From political tensions to safety concerns, these places have their reasons for making it hard for U.S. citizens to visit. So, buckle up as we dive into this list and explore why these countries are giving Americans the cold shoulder. Number 11. Myanmar On February 1, 2021, Myanmar experienced a significant political upheaval when the military overthrew the elected government, leading to the establishment of a junta. This event triggered the ongoing Myanmar Civil War, characterized by widespread protests and violent crackdowns by the military regime. The conflict has severely impacted the country's healthcare system, leaving many citizens reliant on makeshift clinics for medical care. The United States government has strongly advised its citizens against traveling to Myanmar due to the high risk of wrongful detention, violent civil unrest, inadequate health care, and the presence of hidden landmines. The situation remains volatile, with the potential for sudden violence making it unsafe for American travelers. Until the conflict is resolved, Americans are strongly discouraged from visiting Myanmar. The military regime's arbitrary enforcement of local laws poses a significant threat to foreigners, including U.S. citizens, who may be detained without fair trial guarantees. Social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter are banned, and using a VPN to access these sites can lead to police harassment and demands for bribes. Additionally, the implementation of a military conscription law in April 2024 has further complicated matters, especially for U.S. Burmese dual nationals who may be forced into military service. The lack of consistent medical supplies and critical staffing shortages in the healthcare sector exacerbate the already dire situation. The U.S. Embassy in Rangoon has limited ability to provide emergency services, particularly outside the capital, adding another layer of risk for American travelers. Number 10. Yemen Similar to Myanmar, Yemen is under a strict travel advisory from the United States government due to its ongoing civil war. The country faces severe threats from terrorism, with groups like Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, ACAP, and Islamic State affiliates actively plotting attacks. Foreigners, particularly Americans, are at high risk of kidnapping and other forms of violence. The U.S. Embassy in Sanaa suspended operations in 2015, leaving American citizens without legal protection or emergency services. This lack of diplomatic presence makes Americans even more vulnerable to targeted violence and kidnappings. The civil war has devastated Yemen's infrastructure, including hospitals, schools, and utilities, making basic necessities like clean water and medical care scarce. The re-emergence of infectious diseases such as cholera, polio, and measles further complicates the health crisis. Foreign nationals, especially those working for international organizations, are frequent targets for kidnapping and carjacking, particularly outside urban areas. The ongoing conflict has also led to widespread violent crime and organized crime, with local law enforcement often unable or unwilling to respond effectively. Given these conditions, Yemen is an extremely dangerous destination for American travelers. Number 9. Sudan Ranked 172nd on the Human Development Index, Sudan is one of the least developed countries globally, grappling with extreme poverty, political instability, and factional violence. The United States has issued a strict do-not-travel advisory for Sudan due to ongoing armed conflicts and civil unrest. Areas frequented by Westerners are often targeted for terrorist attacks, and foreigners, including aid workers, are at high risk of assault, kidnappings, and armed robberies. The lack of a reliable ceasefire makes it challenging for humanitarian workers to operate safely, and rural areas are littered with hidden explosives, making travel perilous. Sudan's food insecurity crisis is another major concern, with 18 million people, 37% of the population, experiencing severe levels of acute food insecurity. This dire situation forces millions of families to make impossible choices daily, often going without food for extended periods. The ongoing military conflict in Khartoum and other parts of the country further exacerbates these challenges, with ceasefires frequently broken, leading to renewed violence. 
the combination of political instability, economic hardship, and security risks makes Sudan an inhospitable destination for American travelers. Number 8. Libya Libya, a nation bordering Sudan, is the fourth largest country in the Arab world. However, it is not a welcoming destination for Americans. The country is plagued by high crime rates and violent extremist activities, making it a perilous place to visit. American citizens have been specifically targeted for kidnappings, and locations such as malls, hotels, and airports are notorious hotspots for terrorist attacks. Foreigners may also encounter militia-controlled checkpoints and face unlawful detentions, along with crimes of opportunity like assault and robbery. Adding to the complexity, Libya lacks a formal tourism industry, making travel plans highly unpredictable and strongly discouraged. The absence of a structured tourist infrastructure means that emergency services and appropriate medical care are limited, especially outside the capital Tripoli. This lack of support further exacerbates the risks associated with traveling in the region. Moreover, the U.S. government has limited capacity to assist its citizens in Libya due to the suspension of the U.S. embassy operations in Tripoli since July 2014. Americans in Libya are advised to leave immediately via commercial means if possible. The volatile security situation, marked by unannounced clashes between rival armed groups and political instability, can deteriorate rapidly, posing significant dangers to travelers. Number 7. Angola Located in southern Africa, Angola is the second-largest Portuguese-speaking country after Brazil. Unlike some other nations on this list, Angola is not currently under a travel advisory. However, this does not make it an easy destination for American tourists. Obtaining a visa to visit Angola can be a daunting task. The application process is complex and intimidating, often requiring a personal letter of invitation from a resident of the country. Even if all requirements are met, the approval process can take several months, and there is a significant chance that the application will be denied. Despite the absence of a formal travel advisory, Angola poses its own set of challenges. The country has issues related to crime and health, necessitating increased caution for visitors. Travelers should be aware of the risks of yellow fever, malaria, and other diseases prevalent in the region. Additionally, the local infrastructure may not be up to the standards that many Americans are accustomed to, further complicating travel plans. For those who do manage to secure a visa, it's essential to exercise a high degree of caution. Civil unrest and violent crime are concerns that cannot be ignored. While Angola offers rich cultural experiences and natural beauty, these come with significant risks that travelers must be prepared to navigate. Number 6. Venezuela Crossing the Atlantic, we arrive in Venezuela, situated on the northern tip of South America. This developing nation is marred by high levels of corruption and limited civil liberties, currently operating under an authoritarian regime led by President Nicolas Maduro. The Independent International Fact-Finding Mission has documented numerous human rights abuses within Venezuela, including forced disappearances and extrajudicial killings. American citizens face several risks in Venezuela. They are frequently detained by the regime's security forces and become prime targets for robberies, carjackings, and homicides. In March 2019, the U.S. Department of State withdrew the U.S. Embassy from Caracas, leaving minimal emergency services available for American visitors. This withdrawal has further complicated the already precarious situation for Americans in the country. The political and economic instability in Venezuela has led to widespread shortages of food and medicine, making daily life challenging for both residents and visitors. The risk of extortion and kidnapping is particularly high, especially near the border with Colombia. Travelers are advised to avoid political rallies, demonstrations, and crowds, as these can quickly turn violent and be dispersed by force, including rubber bullets and tear gas. Number 5. India India, a renowned South Asian nation, is generally considered safe for tourists. But there are significant exceptions that travelers must heed. The U.S. government strongly advises against visiting the India-Pakistan border and the regions of Jammu and Kashmir due to ongoing civil unrest and armed conflicts. These areas are fraught with sporadic violence, making them perilous for visitors. Additionally, 
Certain tourist spots within these territories are often targeted by local criminals, leading to instances of violent crime. Western women, in particular, are cautioned against traveling alone in these regions. The risk of harassment and assault is notably higher, and it is recommended that they take extra precautions, such as using women-only transportation services and avoiding isolated areas. Moreover, the northeastern states of India also pose risks due to ethnic insurgent activities. Bombings and acts of violence have been reported in places like Assam, Nagaland, and Manipur. While U.S. citizens have not been specifically targeted, the volatile environment makes it unsafe for travel, especially at night or in rural areas. The Indian government has implemented measures to improve safety, but the situation remains unpredictable. For those who still wish to visit, it is crucial to stay informed about current conditions and adhere to local advisories. In addition to these high-risk areas, travelers should be aware of health concerns. Diseases such as Zika, Dengue, and malaria are prevalent in India. Medical facilities vary in quality, and emergency services may not always be reliable. It is advisable to carry necessary medications and ensure that health insurance covers treatment abroad. Despite these challenges, many parts of India remain welcoming and safe for tourists, offering rich cultural experiences and historical landmarks. However, vigilance and preparation are key to ensuring a safe and enjoyable visit. Number 4. Somalia Somalia, located on the eastern edge of Africa, boasts a stunning coastline along the Indian Ocean, bordered by Ethiopia and Kenya. Despite its natural beauty, Somalia is one of the most dangerous countries for American visitors. The nation struggles with extreme poverty, with approximately 70% of its population living below the poverty line. It ranks last on the Human Development Index, reflecting its dire socio-economic conditions. The security situation is highly unstable, with frequent terrorist attacks and rampant violent crime, particularly in crowded urban areas. Illegal roadblocks are a common sight, and kidnappings and detentions occur with alarming regularity. The U.S. government's travel advisory for Somalia is stark, urging potential visitors to draft a will and leave DNA samples with family members before embarking on their journey. This grim recommendation underscores the severe risks involved. The threat from militant groups like Al-Shabaab remains significant, although they have been pushed out of major cities. Nonetheless, the danger persists especially for non-Somalis and Westerners. For those who still consider visiting, it is imperative to have a local guide who understands the complexities and dangers of the region. Even then, the risks are substantial, and the U.S. government strongly discourages travel to Somalia. The country's humanitarian crisis has led to large-scale displacement and overpopulated refugee camps, further exacerbating the security situation. While some areas may be relatively safer, the overall environment is hostile and unpredictable, making it an unwise destination for American tourists. Number 3. Afghanistan Afghanistan, an Asian country with a tumultuous history, has been embroiled in continuous conflict since the late 1970s. The Sour Revolution, which overthrew President Mohammad Daoud Khan to establish a socialist republic, marked the beginning of decades of violence and instability. The Afghan conflict has persisted for over 40 years, making the country extremely hazardous for Western visitors. The U.S. government advises against all travel to Afghanistan due to the high risk of kidnapping, injury, and wrongful detention. Terrorist attacks and hostage-taking are common occurrences, and the absence of a formal tourism industry further complicates matters. The U.S. Embassy in Kabul ceased operations in 2021, leaving American citizens without consular support. This closure has led to an increase in unlawful detentions and a lack of assistance for those in distress. The military occasionally facilitates the evacuation of Americans, but the window of opportunity is shrinking rapidly. The security situation in Afghanistan is dire, with no location considered safe from the threat of attack. Foreigners, particularly Westerners, are prime targets for terrorist groups, the country's infrastructure is severely damaged and basic services are often unavailable. Despite the rich cultural heritage and historical significance of Afghanistan, the ongoing violence and instability make it an untenable destination for American travelers. 
The risks far outweigh any potential rewards, and the U.S. government's advisory reflects the gravity of the situation. Number 2. Syria For many years, obtaining a tourist visa to Syria was virtually impossible for American citizens, effectively barring them from entering the country. This situation changed in 2023 when Syria began issuing tourist visas again. However, the U.S. government still strongly advises against traveling to Syria due to its numerous issues. The country is plagued by internal conflicts, rampant cartel activities, widespread corruption, and severe poverty. The situation is particularly dire for children, who face unimaginable hardships and live in constant fear as nightfall brings new terrors. American citizens are frequently targeted for kidnappings and illegal detentions, making the risk of harm extremely high due to the pervasive violence. The U.S. Embassy in Damascus has been closed since 2012, shortly after the Syrian civil war began. This closure means that there are no consular services available to assist U.S. citizens in Syria. Over the past few years, millions of Syrians have fled the country, and Americans are strongly discouraged from visiting. Adding to the complexity, the Syrian government enforces strict entry requirements. A valid passport and visa are mandatory, and these must be obtained before arrival. The Syrian embassy in Washington, D.C. suspended all operations in 2014, making it even more challenging for Americans to secure the necessary documentation. Furthermore, the Syrian government does not allow entry to individuals with Israeli stamps or visas in their passports, adding another layer of difficulty for travelers. The security situation in Syria is highly volatile. The country has experienced extensive destruction of infrastructure, including homes, medical facilities, schools, and utilities. Terrorist groups are active, and incidents of bombings, improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and assassinations are common. The risk of wrongful detention and abduction is also significant, with detainees often facing inhumane conditions and torture. Given these extreme risks, the U.S. government strongly warns against any travel to Syria, especially for those considering engaging in armed conflict. Number 1. Russia With the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine, traveling to Russia has become nearly impossible for Americans. Even before this conflict, entering Russia required navigating a complex and cumbersome process. The U.S. government has joined its allies in closing American airspace to all Russian flights, further complicating travel plans. To visit Russia, Americans must obtain a visa before arrival, which involves securing an invitation letter from someone within the country. The visa application process is lengthy and detailed, requiring applicants to list every country they have visited in the past decade, their educational background, parents' names, employment history, and even professional organizations they belong to. After submitting this extensive information, applicants must wait and hope their passport is returned with a valid visa. The security situation in Russia has also deteriorated due to the conflict with Ukraine. Martial law has been declared in several border areas, including Bryansk, Kursk, Belgorod, Voronezh, Rostov, and Krasnodar. These regions are highly unstable, and the risk of violence and unrest is significant. The U.S. government advises against all travel to Russia, citing the dangers posed by the ongoing conflict and the stringent entry requirements. Moreover, the political climate in Russia is increasingly hostile towards foreigners, particularly Americans. The Russian government has implemented strict surveillance measures and visitors may be subject to monitoring and harassment. The risk of arbitrary detention is also a concern, with reports of foreigners being detained without access to legal representation or communication with their families. So there you have it, folks. These 11 countries have made it clear that American visitors are not on their guest list for 2024. Whether it's due to political strife, safety concerns, or just plain old red tape, these nations have their reasons for keeping the stars and stripes at bay. As you plan your next adventure, keep these destinations in mind and maybe opt for a more welcoming locale. After all, the world is full of amazing places that are eager to share their beauty and culture with you. Safe travels!